All right. What am I going to do? Get rid of a fraction. How do I get rid of a fraction? Multiply it all. Right? Multiply everything by the greatest common factor. Right? The number, the biggest number that the denominator is going to. So the denominators are 3 and 6. So what's, what, what's the, the, or I should say the lowest common denominator. So what's the, the lowest number that 6 and 3 both go into? 6. Good. So, I'm going to multiply this by 6. I'm going to finish this out, and then I'll post it. Okay. So, 6 times, this is, huh? Yep. Take your papers, do them over the weekend. I'll just stay up here and finish it. So, we have uh, uh, 12 over 3 is greater than 24 over 6. And plus 6 over 6. Okay? So this is 4 is greater than 4x plus 1. And so we're going to do subtraction addition. Subtract 1. Subtract 1. I got 3 is greater than 4x. And now divide by 4, divide by 4. So I get 3 fourths is greater than, or is less than, x. Now I want my x on this side. 3 fourths on this side. So it's still pointing at 3 fourths. So my arrow looks like this. And it's an open circle. So I have 3 fourths. Open circle going this way, and if I want one is bigger and zero is smaller, and so that's all you need to put. Next, we're just sad map transition. So in this case, x on both sides, I got a transition. Okay. So move the lowest one. One is lower than three. So minus x minus x. I get two x minus seven is greater than uh, three. So now I'm going to add seven and add seven. I get two x is equal to ten. Now I'm going to divide by 2, divide by 2, and I get x is equal to, or well, not equal, sorry about that, is greater than, so x is greater than 5. Now I know that that is an arrow that goes this way, with an open circle, so I have a 5 in the middle, and I'm going to put an open circle, it's going to go this way, and there's going to be a 6 here, and a 4 here, and I'm good to go. Alright, two more problems.